Okay, so 34, 35. 35 and 12.1. Yes. Ask your question. I just wanted your question on the camera. Loud. Wait, what are you asking? <laughs> what oh, was your oh, question? Oh. Okay. You, just, okay. you just need the camera to hear it. Find the equations of the circles, if any, where the sphere x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared plus z minus 2 squared equals 4 intersects each coordinate plane. Okay. So they have told us that something is a sphere, right? So the something they told us was a sphere is x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared plus z minus 2 squared equals 4. OK, so they told me this is a sphere. And now I'm supposed to find the equations of the circles where this intersects coordinate points. You guys all with that? Okay, so I think there's some sphere like this. And then someplace in here somewhere there's a coordinate, like there's there's one of those axes gadgets, right? So maybe it's over here. I don't know. And so I think there's some kind of an intersection, like over here, right? There might be like some circle. You guys see that? Yeah. And then like down here, there's some kind of circle. Right? And then on this side, there's some kind of circle. Oops, shoot. You guys all see that? Like, I've got this beach ball, right? And I'm trying to figure out where this thing slices the, plan, the usual coordinate plane. So, how the hell do I do that? First, we want to find the midpoint of this. We want to have a visualization of what the sphere is like in position to the different. Okay. Sure. The radius. So, what's the radius of this sphere? Two. Okay. Cool. Why is the radius two? Square root of the answer. Yeah, because really this looks like. X minus something plus y minus, y minus something, both squared, added together, equals, radius. yeah, that's a radius squared, square, right? Yeah. You guys all with me on that? Yeah. Okay, so then where's this center? One, two, three, two. <laughs> nice. You guys all see why the center's there? Right, this is like shifting rules from algebra yeah. two or something, right? That's that right. x shift is left one, right? Right one. Right, right one. Sorry, I'm subtracting. Right one. And this is left three. Well, left three in the y, right? Back three up two. <laughs> yeah. So we did right one, back three, up two. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then the radius was two from the other side. Okay, great. So I could make this now, right? Because I know. <laughs> so I know where this is. I could make one. But how do I get the equations? My, my claim is that the equations here are easy. So where are the coordinate planes? Like, for instance, the x, y coordinate plane, right? That's this flat guy at the bottom. Good. That lives when the height's zero, right? It's at the bottom. Right, the height zero there. So that's just literally telling me z is zero. So if I want to do an x y slice, I really just set z equal to zero and be done with it. So you cram z is zero in there, and you get x minus one oh squared plus y plus <laughs> three squared plus four, four equals four. And then what? How do you see the circle? Subtract, right? So you guys, not all of you have taken a class with me before. I will sometimes do this arrow to say I'm applying the function subtract 4 to both sides. Cool? Okay. That's literally just so you can skip around in the videos and see my steps. 
like if you hit plus 30 seconds because I'm just sitting here BSing with the students and you don't want to listen to it, like exactly like what you'll do when you watch this video, right? You'll see this arrow that'll get you between the steps. Sometimes it's hard to read those, especially in this class, because sometimes I'll write stuff. I'll be like, use the usual formula, or algebra 2, or complete the square, or, I don't know, integrate by parts, or whatever, right? Cool? So, subtract 4, you get what? You get x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals... Zero? And what does that tell you? It only touches the x, y plane, doesn't at a point. Yeah, this touches the x, y plane at one point, right? And that point is? One, negative three, zero. Perfect. How could I have eyeballed that earlier? <laughs> it's a radius 2 circle and it's centered up at something where the height is 2, right? So it's going to just barely tag the xy plane. Great. Can you guys do the other slices on your own? What would you do for the next one? Yeah, you'd set x equal to 0 and you'd set y equal to 0 and you'll get some equations of circles. If they, for instance, turned out to be, like which one can I call isn't going to give me anything? Yeah, you guys see that? If I set y equals to 0, right, I'm really wondering about this coordinate. That thing's not going to reach the x, z plane because it's only radius 2 and it's negative 3. What's the equation you're going to get look like? Um, x minus 1 squared plus z minus 2 squared equals negative 5. Perfect. Really, you're going to wind up with something like this. Right? Crap squared plus crap squared equals negative 6. Right? Okay, that ain't gonna happen. It, it just so, doesn't intersect with that. Yeah, this one's just empty. So I would write for that one, no intersection. On this one, I would take a second and actually label that as a point. Right? That first one we did, that should probably be labeled as a point. The other one, will be some kind of equation, right? It'll be the equation of a circle. So it'll be like sub squared plus sub squared equals number, yeah. right? Fine, whatever. The important thing here is that you specify this thing right here looks like a circle, right? But if I just write this equation down with two variables in it, it is not, in fact, a circle. Oh, shit. Should we do that so we can see what it is? OK, so what am I setting equal to 0 here? This is the yz plane. Right? So this should be setting. So I'm going to set x is 0. So I'm going to get. Yeah, perfect. So um, I got y, y plus, plus three, 3 squared plus z minus 2 squared equals 3. Okay. So I have here, right, the equation for a radius three cir or radius squared at 3 circle in the yz plane centered up at x, or sorry, y is negative 3 and z is 2. Cool. But <coughs> without specifying the x value for that, this object is not a circle. It's a cylinder. You guys see that? If you write down a two-dimensional equation in a three-dimensional space without specifying that other variable, it just sweeps it forwards and backwards through that thing. Cool. So this is only a circle when you specify x is 0. Well, so there's the equation of your circle. You guys with me on that? Right? You have three variables, so if you're going to try to specify a two-dimensional object, you need to smash one of those variables. You need to tell me what that variable is. 
You guys cool with that? If you do not tell me what that variable is, it sweeps forwards and backwards through that thing. And so you get this cylinder instead. I'm assuming there's some sort of way, like for if we're making like a plate or something, we could say x equals one through two or something like that. Yeah, you can do the usual specification of domains, right? Okay. And so on this thing, right, I'm specifying so right, that the x value is 0 and the y and z are allowed to range through whatever makes this equation true. Okay. Is that sort of like the same as saying just like look at this slice of the exactly. projection? Exactly. Yep. I'm saying I'm slicing, right, in the y, z plane, that's that x equal to to zero part, and this is the result. Cool. If I don't specify that I was slicing the YZ plane, there are lots of things that have that slice in the YZ plane. You guys see that? And the easy one is the cylinder. Cool. So if you write, for instance, y is x squared, right? You all know what this looks like? Apparently not. Yeah, my claim is, no, you don't. You used to know what this yeah. looked like. So in the x, y land, right, what does this look like? Yeah, it's a problem. But we don't live in x, y land anymore. We live in. Is it so it's, a curve, curve. it's like a curved wall kind of thing. Yeah, so this is a trough that continues in. It's a taco. You guys see this? Yeah, it's a mega taco. <laughs> Assuming Z is up and down, taco. it's kind of like a wall. Yeah. yeah, so Z in this picture sticks out, right? Because okay. we, we know where it goes because of the right hand rule. And I have not specified Z, so that thing's going to sweep forwards and backwards. Isn't that considered a parabolic cylinder? Yes. Now, yeah. Why is that considered to be a cylinder if it's open? Plane, right? Yeah, so cylinder literally just means a shape in two dimensions that we didn't specify the third, so it got swept. That's what they mean by a cylinder. And then they'll they'll say something is a circular cylinder if it's a you know usual cylinder. They might say it's an elliptical cylinder if the cross sections are ellipses. And in this one, right, it's a parabola and then swept, so it's a cylinder. Cool? You guys good with that? So you can make lots of fun shapes now. This, like, this means you can sweep out whatever you want. So you can sweep out a sine curve if you want. How do you make a sinusoidal cylinder? Y equals sine x. Yeah, y equals sine x will do it, right? Just forget the z. Z equals sine y will do it too, it's just in a different direction. You guys cool with that? I'm just trying to think about like, if, like, how does like, z equals 4 apply to that? Like, is that just like... <laughs> Good. So if we set z equals 4, right? So here's my x, y, and z, right? So the easy case is like here, right? This is 4 tall. But I didn't specify either x or y. So where's this going to end up? Yeah, it's going to end up through all the x's and y's, it's going to be that high. So I'm going to get a plane, right? You guys see that? Okay, cool. And this is not usually how I draw planes. So planes are usually drawn like this, where you go plane and point and draw those lines into it. Okay. That's cool that. It takes it takes actually more practice probably to draw planes in here than anything else. I would like strong you draw. Oh, no, yeah. So you'll go through lots of like I I can draw them fine when they're not on it, but right when I try to draw the yep. thing and then Same. draw the plane on it. Yeah, so it's harder to start with the, and this is true in general drawing, it's harder to start with the axes and draw the shape than it is to start with the shape and then draw the axes. I really would recommend that you try to put the axes in later if you can at all. Cool? Like with spheres especially, draw the sphere 
and then put a dot in the middle and then draw the axes off of the dot. Cool? Questions, Steels? All right, cool. Oh, take a break.